bit since I last filmed a drive with me and I was just in the mood today because the sun's out. I wanted a Starbucks and I was like, let's drive together. And I think this will be the last drive with me in this car because I'm actually treating myself and getting a new one for my birthday, which I'm so excited about. But I think I'm really gonna miss this car. Like even saying that this is gonna be my last drive with me in this car, it's kind of emotional. I mean, this car really has been with me through a lot of shit like it's been through a breakup it's been through when me and manny was dating and we used to we used to have dates in the car obviously when we didn't have our own place we used to do that and i don't know it's just seen a lot of things this car's been with me when i've been driving around at midnight on my own like crying going and getting a Krispy cream donut and obviously it's been with you guys as well so I'm gonna miss it, so I have to make sure this drive with me is solid. <laughs> Although I don't know whether it is gonna be because there was something that I wanted to talk about in this video and basically I've just, I don't know what's going on with me. In fact, let me actually start this drive because, there we go. I feel like whenever I film drive with me, I always end up just sitting in my car and that defeats the whole object. So um, welcome to the drive with me anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos because I certainly love filming them. Like these used to be, let me concentrate a second. There's something about just driving and talking like I'm on FaceTime to my friends, which that's how this video is gonna be. I'm gonna explain everything that's been going on in my life as if me and you are on FaceTime and I am just driving to Starbucks. That's the vibes for the video. So I've been trying to vlog, okay? I've been trying to vlog for the past couple of days because vlogging, I think vlogs are just my favorite videos anyway. I feel like you really like see inside a person's life and obviously that's what you want when you're watching a YouTuber. Like you're kind of along, along you're going along that journey with them, if that makes sense. I do forget that people look at you weird when you're just like talking to yourself you obviously like follow youtubers to follow their life and stuff and I don't know what happened to me but I feel like LA just really ruined me I have not recovered from that trip at all I think since getting back I mean even midway through the trip I just didn't I don't know like the trip was obviously amazing and I'm so grateful that I went on it but there was just something about being there and having my camera stolen and the jet lag. I've just, I don't know, I just started having a really weird time. And then since coming back, I've just been stuck in this really weird rut where I don't want to do anything. I don't want to see anyone. I've not seen my friends since being back. I've not seen, in fact, I saw two of my friends over the weekend, but like really briefly. Um, but I've just not wanted to do anything. I've not wanted to see anyone. I've hardly seen my mom. I've been so recluse and just, and when I get like that, my anxiety is crazy. Like I had that anxiety attack in LA and I think that's probably what I've not recovered from. I've just not felt myself since then. And I've been trying to vlog. I keep starting the video. Like I keep opening my camera. I've probably still got the footage. If I've got it, then I'll include it, but I might not have it. I might have deleted it. But I kept starting up my camera. I'd put it down and I'd just sit there like staring into the camera. Like, what do I say now? Like. It's so weird because I'm not usually like that. I'm so chatty and I'm so, I mean, you could probably tell now like I'm feeling more like myself, but I have not felt as good as I do today for a long time. So I spoke to Rosh, my aesthetics doctor about this and he, I mean, he's an aesthetics doctor, but he's so much more than that. Like he's a wellness doctor. He's got so many certificates in so many different areas of like, health i guess um and he basically referred me to a therapist so i'm gonna start going to therapy again just because i feel like i need it i feel like i just need to talk to someone and just kind of pinpoint what's going on in my life i mean journaling has obviously helped so much because if i've ever been anxious about anything i found that writing it down and getting to the root of it always helps because then you can kind of like solve the problem but I've just not been able to do that. And I don't I don't know what it is because there's nothing. And I've, I've said this to Hannah and Rachel. I was like, it's so weird because my life is going so well. 
and like my career is going well my relationships going well there's nothing that should be making me unhappy and I'm not necessarily unhappy there's just something not right and I don't know what that is and that's what I need to get to the root of because this feeling yeah it's horrible I feel guilty about everything I feel anxious I feel like the worst will happen in every situation it's very weird if you've ever experienced anything like this before please let me know because I am feeling very on my own with it at the minute because I can't I think the fact that I can't really explain what's going on in my head is probably the really like loneliness to what am I trying to say like that that feeling is very lonely so if anyone else has gone through a situation like this then let me know like even my videos recently I've just the Coachella vlog for example I'm sorry I'm even like criticizing my own work but what the fuck was that like <laughs> that's not my usual type of vlog that Coachella vlog should have been 10 10 and I know I had my camera stolen and it should have been an LA vlog as well but I just where is my energy like where where was she, she because I don't know who that girl was that filmed that Coachella vlog I mean I'm going to Paris with my mom on Monday so I'm definitely gonna vlog Paris I've been watching Emma Chamberlain's vlogs and I really like her vlog style so I was thinking do I switch up the way I vlog and like maybe do it more aesthetic I don't I don't know I'm gonna try a few different things and like see what works that's nice I've started doing more TikToks like day in the lives on TikToks so if you want to see more like regular day in the life vlog kind of things then I'll leave my TikTok down below I'm really enjoying that because I don't have to put too much out there but it's also I don't know I like sharing my life with you guys I've been doing it now for five years and it almost seems weird not vlogging my days and not taking you along for certain things that I would usually take you along for. I've been focusing a little bit more recently on my modeling bag, which the casting I went for that I filmed a TikTok for went very well. It's someone that I've like literally would love to work with. I've worked with them before, but not modeling. But I feel like if you work with these people, you're an instant like official buddy. Do you know what I mean? I also have a casting for Monaco Swim Week like me Madison Sarah a casting from Monaco swim week I am going to Monaco for swim week anyway because I'm going with a brand but the fact that I'm going with a brand I'm gonna be watching <gasps> oh my god what the hell was that and I've still got the label on this hoodie and the label is just slid down my back this was from worst behavior by the way it's honestly like the nicest hoodie ever it's like a gorgeous color this is what it looks like it's got a nice back as well but lord that scared the shit out of me yeah i'm gonna be watching one of the shows and then i might be walking in one of the shows i don't know what i prefer like do i prefer to sit back i mean i i guess i get the best of both but do i prefer to sit back and watch or do i prefer to actually be the star of the show i won't be the star of the show but like you know what I mean, like walking the show. If I do both, and if I get this cast in, then I'll let you know which one I prefer. But I think if you asked me and I had to choose one, I think I would say walk only because I've watched fashion shows in the past and I'd love to experience actually walking in one. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying like bringing the two, my two career choices together trying to think of everything that I have to tell you guys so I'm going to Paris with my mom on Monday till Wednesday and I literally can't wait for some girl time like my mom is honestly like my best friend I feel like if anyone's gonna cheer me up it's my mom or my boyfriend my mom dresses like a very feminine rich older lady and that's the kind of energy that I need in Paris so I think I'm I'm trying to dress more feminine at the minute because I feel like I'm kind of oh, don't shoot me for this because I still wear them a lot but I'm kind of over cargoes the jeans and a nice top trend turned into cargoes and a nice top and now I'm kind of getting over it and now I want to dress a little bit more feminine one of the best things that came out of the LA trip 
this drink is delicious. It's literally like strawberries and cream. Hi, what's your donuts? What can I get for you? Hi, um, please could I get a venti pink uh, coconut refresher, please? A venti pink coconut refresher? And then could I have one pump of vanilla in that, please? A vanilla in it? Yes, please. Yeah, anything else for you? Maybe a cake. Um, in fact, Mm, that's everything, thank you. No worries, we'll see you the window. Thank you. Oh my god, did I want cake? There just wasn't any that was standing out. Also, if there's one place that I could guarantee is busy at all times of day, it is this Starbucks. And there wasn't one person in front of me. I've never experienced that here before, ever. Like, it's always... There's always at least like four cars here at all times of day. Like you could come here at 2 a.m. and 2 a.m. is probably its busiest time. Like when me and Manny used to come for drives when we was first dating, this place used to be rammed at like 4 a.m. Thank you so much. Yum. This is the most refreshing drink. Like I'm such a coffee drinker. I have a definite I was gonna say nicotine addiction. I don't have a nicotine addiction, caffeine addiction. Sorry about that. Um, this is why I struggle to like do these drive with me's because these tripods never wanna work in my favor. I have a caffeine addiction, but I will always choose this drink now over getting coffee. I don't know what crack it has in it. Maybe I've got a crack addiction if it's in this because <laughs> whatever is in this, I don't actually, by the way, before that gets twisted, um, whatever is in this is so delicious. So I don't know whether you got it because I was literally stuttering so much when I was ordering it. I don't know what happened. I think I got stage fright, but this is a pink coconut Starbucks refresher with one pump of vanilla syrup. And it literally is the most refreshing drink, but it's still creamy. It's like like strawberries and cream but not sickly at all it tastes like a milkshake but not sickly like so delicious probably finish this in two minutes and then go around and get another one like they are quite addictive but if you've not tried it, try it, it's so good. Um, what else do I have to update you on? So yeah, I did mention briefly that I'm selling my car and I'm getting a new one. I really want an electric car because obviously it's better for the environment. It's better for my tax bill, I'm gonna be honest. It's really good for my tax bill. And I feel like living in the city centre, it just makes sense to have an electric car. So um, on my 25th, which is in August, I'm gonna treat myself and get a new car. I've been working on something behind the scenes that should have happened ages ago and it didn't but we are in the process and i finally have a date for when it's launching so it's going to be launching the end of september which feels like a while off but i think time is going so quickly at the minute that it's going to come around very very quickly i've had full creative freedom with everything and it's going to be amazing like it is going to be amazing i think this is probably going to be like my proudest career moment yet it's been it's been a work in progress and finding the right how do i explain this without giving too much away finding the right people to do it with that makes sense for me was a big factor like i definitely wear more sustainable brands okay let me give you some let me give you a little bit of insight so i was actually meant to be doing something with a brand and i was really excited about it but number one, I didn't get full creative freedom. Already a big red flag. Because if I'm putting my name on something, then I have to love it. I don't even have to like it. Like, I need to love it. Otherwise, I'm selling a dream. Number two, they weren't a sustainable brand. And the way I'm dressing, the reason I don't do fast fashion brand hauls every single week like I used to is because I'm trying to be more sustainable. Yes, I do still shop from a few fast fashion brands if I need basics or if I've seen something I liked, but it's very, very rare. Like, I'm still a girl. Of course, I'm going to shop at PLT and Misguided and places like that, but um, 
I'm trying to just wear more sustainable things where I, I'll buy it and either wear it a few times or I'll buy it and then it'll be worthy to sell on Depop. For me, I'm never going to order something from a fast fashion brand and then sell it on Depop. It's not worth my time. It's not worth it. Like for what I would price it at, it would probably be the, be the same price I paid for it. Otherwise, it's like 50p. Do you know what I mean? So um, I have definitely been trying to be more sustainable and working with a place that was sustainable was really important for me. We're also looking at an apartment next week, which I think I touched on in a Q&A that we weren't planning on moving anytime soon. But I just, do you know what? When it comes to apartments and houses and properties, I'm just not gonna say anything anymore. That's all you need to know, that I'm gonna view an apartment. I'm planning on vlogging it, so you would have known anyway. But I'm just not gonna say anything until it's actually happening and I'm in there like maybe i won't even say anything and then suddenly i'll make a youtube video and be like okay i'm in my new place now and then i'll do an apartment tour or something because i feel like everything i tell you guys it's not like i'm lying it's just things don't always work out the way you think it's going to and that's life and you know you've just got to be okay with that but i feel like i keep saying i'm doing this and then i'm like oh actually i'm not anymore so great halfway through when I already am thinking about my next one the only thing I don't like is you get these like soggy bits of strawberry in it I might ask for no strawberry pieces next time that's what we're excited for like even filming this right now let me actually get on the road again even filming this right now has just made me so excited to start filming again I think I just needed that why is my car not starting Oh my lord, that's all I needed. Yeah, the initial video was always just going to be difficult because it's like I said, I just kept setting my camera up and nothing would happen. Like, I would lose the ability to speak. Like, there would be no words in my mouth. Definitely felt more like myself in this video and I think sometimes just saying it out loud and just letting you guys know where my head's at is really free in number one and number two just makes sense to you why I'm probably not posting as much and my videos are shorter or just not I don't know I'm just not my usual self but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you for always being so patient with me when I'm having these weird little moments in life honestly so grateful that like you're a part of it as well like I can just come on here and talk to you about my problems basically love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video this lighting is horrible <laughs>